hey guys so today is my 28th birthday it's tuesday september 21st and um i don't have class today so what i decided was is i'm gonna walk into the center of cork and they have a couple shops they have like a lush they have this i want to call an electronic shop i honestly don't know if that's what you call it but they say they sell apple products so i want to look at maybe getting an apple watch i don't know yet i'm kind of like on the fence so i'm just gonna go look take a peek around and i might stop at the bookstore again because i smashed through three books in two weeks since i've been here um yeah so i love to read so i'm like maybe i'll grab another book who knows maybe um i'm just gonna go out and then explore and then maybe go for a walk today I know tonight um, my roommates we're getting together we're gonna have some drinks and I have a friend on the first on the second floor who's in my program she's gonna come up with her roommates and then one of my roommates is a med student who has friends in the building and they're gonna come too so we're gonna like hang out tonight which will be fun so yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with me but maybe first we'll get donuts because I didn't have donut Friday last Friday and it's my birthday and I love donuts. So I was like, do I maybe not eat a cake tonight? And I just like get birthday donuts instead? I think so. So let's go. Today, but my roommates might or they're studying or something and I need to put some lipstick on um I got cups for wine tonight it's not really that interesting though but I did get um two books at Waterman's they were buy one get one half off so I got Midnight Sun because I am a Twilight fan I knew this came out never read it so I picked it up because it was buy one get one half and um, I got this Cinderella is dead book. If you don't know what the Midnight Sun about, so the Midnight, oh my Lord, the Midnight Sun book is about, I think it's Twilight, but Edward's perspective. I don't know if it's all the books, but it's like Edward's perspective instead of Bella's. Um, so I'm intrigued. And this is Cinderella is dead. And it's, I'm gonna do a really bad job at explaining this, but I just don't wanna read the back. Um, it's 200 years after the story of Cinderella and like all these girls have to go to the ball and if the prince doesn't choose them they have to die and this girl doesn't want to go but her girlfriend I think from reading it is also going so she wants to make sure like she wants to protect her girlfriend I don't know it was buy one get one half off it was the only other one that looked interesting so I am interested in reading it it does look really good at the description I'm doing a really bad job at explaining it um I'm not going to do a dramatic reading of the back though, that's not what this is about. So then I went to Lush and Lush was a project because I went in, all the Halloween stuff is out right now and I haven't been to a Lush in years, years and I used to be obsessed so I just popped in because I wanted a body wash because I'm almost out of my travel sized one so I was like when I get there I'll just, when I get to Ireland I'll just buy one and then I saw they had a Lush so I was like Miss spoil myself and i got rose jam but the reason this was a project was because my card wouldn't work so i literally was walking all over city center trying to find an atm which i did find one eventually it was i had to go to like the grocery store which is like it was like 10 minutes away anyways i got lost too it was like a whole thing but i figured out the atm so andrew my brother if you're watching you'll be really proud of me because i figured it out now quick little story when I landed I wanted to take money out of the ATM and I couldn't figure out for the life of me that I just said cancel everything and I just been paying everything with my card and then every time someone's like oh we can go here but like we just we need this change I'm like can't go away my card because <laughs> I couldn't figure out the ATM but I figured it out today so like when there's a will there's a way I guess that will in the way was just on my birthday 
if you know me, very on brand. Anywho, I got the Rose Jam Shower Gel and it's Turkish Rose Absolute and Conditioning Argon Oils Dance. Dance! They're dizzyingly. Like, who gave me a BA and why am I getting a master's? Dizzyingly. No. You can look it up. Floral fragrance over skin. Leaving and gentle lingering. Lingering. <sighs> Perfume behind. It smells like gross. She's having a day. Well, it's her birthday, so of course she's having a day. She has a day every day. <laughs> Rambling. Um, I'm excited. I never tried their shower gels before in the past when I was obsessed with them. I used to only use the soaps. Like the Sultana of Soap, I loved. Um, honey, I washed the kids. I used to use all the time too. And their bath bombs. But I never got a shower gel. And the mask of vitamin C, I was like obsessed. So I'm excited for this. And then I got, um, it's called Ultra Plan. It's a facial cleanser. And I was talking to her and I actually was going to go to the pharmacy, which pharmacies are different here. At home pharmacies, like you can get like medicine and like snacks and Back home, you know, you know what it is. If you're from America, you know what a pharmacy is, okay? You get it. Like a Rite Aid, Walgreens, CBS, anything like that. Here, a pharmacy is only medicine and skincare. That's it. Nothing else. So, um, I was going to go to the pharmacy and get a makeup remover, just like a cheap one, because I don't, I haven't seen an Ulta or like a Sephora or anything like that, where I was going to get like a decent one. And the lady at Lush, so kind, was like, this just came... I don't know if it just came out, but it's like one of the newer products, she said, and it's, um, I'm trying to say, like, organic jojoba oil, guys, why? And agave nectar, sunflower wax, and orange blossom water come together, creating a gentle cream, which turns into a light cleansing oil when it touches the skin. That is true. So she put some on my hand, and my hand is so soft right here. It's so soft right now and she said it like takes up makeup so good takes off makeup i don't know what i just said i'm correcting myself you're welcome Lizzie. and um she said it's really good for mascara too which i have a struggle bus taking off my mascara maybe i'm doing it wrong i'm definitely not it's just like mascara is a pain in the fucking ass like let's just call it what it is so she said this was really good so i'm gonna try it i did like it when she put it on my hand so i was like let's just do it they gave me um a couple other samples like some free samples of Lord of Miss Root. Honestly, I think this is a body wash. I think she gave me, but yeah, it is. It's the, it's green. This is the one for. Oh, it smells good though. Wait, hold on. This smells like something. Obviously, it smells like something Marissa, but this smells like something from like home. And I can't. I almost just dropped it. I can't put my finger on it. It smells good. It's um a Halloween edition. They said. Um, and then sleepy shower gel, which I did want to get this, but I've been showering in the morning and I'm not trying to like zen in the morning. I want to like be up and about and like get my shit done. So um, I'm going to try this like when I usually have a night shower. So if I start becoming a night showerer again, I'll try this and I'll, you know, if I feel like it. I got my first Apple. <laughs> I got my first Apple watch and I'm so excited. I know like this, like maybe this doesn't seem like a big thing. But I really don't like splurge on like electronics for myself. I don't know if that's what you call it. Electronics? I don't know. Like even phones. Like I won't get a new phone until mine is like dead. Even my laptop, Lizzie, convinced me that I need a new laptop for college because mine did have a virus on it. I was just kind of dealing with it. And it had like, I don't know, no storage. I don't really know. I don't get it. And she was like, Marissa, just go buy a new laptop. And I didn't even want to, but I did. So, like, I don't really splurge on myself, like, for funsies, only necessary. But I've wanted one of these for literally, like, three years now. And every time I was like, Marissa, you don't need it. Money can go to other places. Like, whatever. But I was like, you know what? No, you've wanted it for three years. It's a continuous want. Like, you're going to use it. So, I was like, fuck it. And I got one. Hey guys, so it's officially the next day, um, Wednesday, September 22nd. Um, my birthday is officially over, but I never ended the vlog yesterday. So I wanted to pop up on here and kind of end the vlog, I guess. Well, maybe because, so last night we had a party, so much fun. Um, and today I've been doing schoolwork. I um, talked to my mom today. 
but I have been re doing some readings and some discussion boards on Canvas, and I'm dressed up right now. I don't know if you can see. Um, we got, we, I mean, the creative producing and theater people, um, the opera, Cork Opera House is having free tickets to, to a show, and if we wanted to, we could reserve a ticket. So a couple of my friends and I reserved tickets, so we're going to the opera house tonight to see a show. I am dressed up to go do that. I have about 20 minutes before I meet my friends for dinner. Um, until then, I'm going to try to smash out this last assignment. It's the last thing I have to do before tomorrow. Everything else can kind of wait till this weekend to do. Um, so yeah. Hey friends, so I wanted just to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, my makeup is a mess. It's officially like 1am. Um, I'm tired. I caught up with some of my friends from home. So that was fun. The opera was really good. It was um, about Rosemary Kennedy and her life. So a lot, <laughs> but it was really good. Um, and then we went and got drinks at the Oval Bar. Um, yeah, tomorrow was going to be a fun day. I have um, a second part of a symposium for producers, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then I have one of my classes, it's the first time we're going to meet, so I'm really, really excited. And then I have um, my creative producing class, which is always a good time, and people from my major, so it's like my friends are in there. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the vlog, um, and I'll see you guys next time.